Today's topic, what is the cause of sneezing? Welcome to International Academy Germanische Heilkunde by Dr. Rücke Gerd Hammer, MD. My name is John Holledauer. I have been appointed by GHK Academy to translate and represent Dr. Hammer's original seminar program into English. The cause of sneezing is easy to understand, even for the GHK beginner, because you often experience it yourself. Sneezing is a symptom of the nasal mucosa, the red group, the squamous mucosa. This also brings us to the common cold, rhinitis, but also nasal mucosa cancer. An excellent special program, because it is easy to understand. In a way, sneezing is a beginner SPS. Why do we actually sneeze? The nose with its constantly moist nasal mucosa and nasal hairs keeps away larger foreign particles that can pass into the lungs. And when we feel a tickle in the nose, we have to sneeze which is also a cleaning process of the nose. We can also provoke such a uh, process arbitrary, for example, when you tickle your nose. The explanation for the so-called light sneeze reflex is a little bit more complex if you're not familiar with Germanische Heilkunde, but everything one after the other. The conflict content of the nasal mucosa is called not being able to send, for example, when the dog is looking for its owner and cannot smell it. The conflict content can also be not being able to smell the danger. Let's assume that the wind comes from behind and there is a rustling in the bushes somewhere in the front. Is there a predator? So the dog is not to be able to smell the danger. But the conflict content can also be a stink conflict. When a dog lets off a third, that can be a stench. But this can also figuratively mean a situation that stinks to me. The mother and law come to visit. <laughs> Not again. But of course, always only when the three criteria are met. Isolative, highly acute and caught on the wrong foot. Otherwise, no special program starts. Now back to the light sneeze reflex. That is, when you look at the sun, there are the pupils constrict to protect the retina, which is often painful. One cannot withstand looking at the sun for a long time. That would also be the conflict associated here. It is dangerous, for example, for the retina. It hurts. We must distinguish this nasal mucosa program from the loss from the sense of smell. With loss of the sense of smell, we are at the functional failure. Here the conflict content would be called smell conflict. A stench that can't be true, how that smells. And in the nose, the biological sense is also blanked out. This is also the biological sense in order to also be able to solve the conflict. In the healing phase, there is edema from the nose. We smell with our brain. Also in the healing phase, when we have edema in the brain, it leads to the loss to the sense of smell for the time of the healing phase. At the end of healing, the sense of smell restores itself. But with this program, you don't have to sneeze either. Back again to the nasal mucosa. The squamous epithelium ulcerates in the conflict active phase and the nose is dry. The biological purpose is ulcerative dilation to better scent. And in general, the active phase is rarely noticed. If I can't resolve the conflict, these ulcers get bigger and bigger and then I have nasal cancer. If I can solve this conflict, the nasal mucosa will be repaired under swelling and fluid retention. This is the cold. And in the crisis, we also have absence as in all squamous programs. The one who has to sneeze is absent for the few seconds. This can be easily observed by oneself. This link in the text below the video will take you to a short video where a television show host went through the whole SBS in just one minute the conflict, the resolution, and in the crisis, the sneeze and the absence. So sneezing is the crisis of such a stink or scent conflict, and in the end of the healing, all is well again. The special thing about sneezing is that you often suffer the conflict, resolve it, and have to sneeze right after that. So this is a beginner's program, 
where you can easily reproduce such a biological conflict in yourself. What was the biological conflict and what is the associated solution? Sneezing is a noticeable symptom for a colleague, a neighbor, a partner or a child who sneezes. And even when a dog sneezes. So you can easily understand what such a biological special program is. In the case of a common cold, it is the healing phase of such a stinky conflict. No viruses are involved in this, which could never be isolated anyway. Rhinitis is the hanging healing of this SPS. Then there's always a track that points back to the stink conflict. You always have recurrences, you always come back into the healing. You're stuffy chronically, the rhinitis. So if someone has to sneeze and briefly uses a handkerchief, then something has stunk to him shortly before. The origin level cannot lie. So as a tip, always start from the origin level. With the psyche, you sometimes fool yourself, but the origin level cannot lie. For example, if the wife asks her husband, Oh darling, be so kind and take out the garbage can. And the husband answers, Oh, I'd love to, my darling. And he has to sneeze right after that. Then you know that he doesn't like to do it and it's thanks to him. A short case study of sneezing. I'm a leisurely driver. Speeding is not really my thing. Once I was chauffeuring a friend along a winding road in the evening. A car in the front of me was going a bit too slow for me. I set the blinker, changed lanes and accelerated determinedly, but a bit abruptly for my friend. And out of the corner of my eye I could see him tense up in the seat. I overtook the car, moved back into my lane again and noticed how he relaxed. And then he had to sneeze. I asked him why he had to sneeze and he laughed because he also knew Germanische Hellkunde. The moment I suddenly changed lanes, it was highly acutely traumatic for him. Now he's going crazy, isolated perceived. Now nobody helps me. And unexpectedly. He does not expect it. The conflict content, what's happening now, not being able to sense it. As soon as I got back in my lane, he could solve the conflict and had to sneeze. And he could laugh about the conflict after it was solved. So the event had ended well for him, he survived it and now he could love about it. But he was all but loving when I stepped on the gas pedal. So you can perfectly understand such a conflict and the associated conflict resolution and understand the content of the conflict with the origin symptom. In Germanische Heilkunde we don't need to believe anything, you can experience it yourself. So I wish you a lot of fun while studying Germanische Heilkunde and many aha experiences. Goodbye. See you in the following video. Germanische Heilkunde is considered by those who have understood its underlying principles to be the most significant discovery in known human history. While conventional medicine is based on more than 5,000 hypotheses, Germanische Heilkunde can be proven at any time to be the only medicine that is scientifically verifiable. With Germanische Heilkunde, for the first time in recorded human history, there is a scientifically verifiable medicine for each patient case. More than 30 medical universities have already confirmed this in the past. Still, Dr. Hammer's discoveries have been suppressed and denigrated for over 40 years. Take your health into your own hands and learn Germanische Heilkunde while you are still healthy. For this purpose, the GHK International Academy offers you an extensive program of seminar tutorials from the basics, through the organ level, to the psychoses. This seminar program will change your relationship with your body and your health once and for all. You will find the direct link to the homepage of the GHK International Academy below the video.